Hi, in this video we'll learn how to factor a quadratic equation when the leading coefficient is greater than 1. And here you can see that my leading coefficient is 4. It's greater than 1, so we're going to be using a different strategy. We're going to be factoring this by grouping. So whenever your leading coefficient is greater than 1, you can use the factoring by grouping strategy in order to factor the quadratic equation. So the first thing that I need to do is I would multiply my leading term, uh, leading terms coefficient, or the leading coefficient with the constant term. So multiplying 4 by 7, because 4 is the leading coefficient and 7 is a constant term. So when I multiply 4 and 7, I would get 28. So now what I need to do is I need to think of two factors that multiply to give me positive 28, but when those two factors are added, should give me the middle term's coefficient, and the middle term coefficient is positive 16. So let's think about the two factors. Now 7 times 4 is 28, but 7 plus 4 is not 16, so that would not work. 14 times 2 is 28, and 14 plus 2 is also equal to 16. So 14 and 2 will definitely work. So now what I'll do is I'll leave my first term and my last term as it is. I'm not touching these two terms, so I'll write 4x squared and then positive 7 as it is. But I'll split up the middle term such that I use these two factors. So I'll write my middle term positive 16x that can be written as positive 14x plus 2x. So 14x plus 2x. And notice that I did not change the value of this quadratic at all because 14x plus 2x would give us 16x. Now what I'll do is I'll just make two groups here. So first group, this is my first group, and this is my second group. And let's see what can we factor um, from the two groups. From the first group, I can factor out what is the GCF of 4x squared and 14x. Well, that, that is 2x. So I can factor out a 2x. Now 2x times what will give me 4x squared? 2x times 2x will give me 4x squared. Then 2x times what will give me positive 14x? Well, 2x times 7 will give me positive 14x. Then let's see, what can we factor out from here? Well, 2x and 7, I cannot factor out anything. They, they don't have any, um, any common factor. So um, we can just factor out a 1. If you don't have any factor, you can always factor out a 1. And you have to make sure that you do that. So then inside, there will be no change because we just factored out a 1. So then inside would remain the same, 2x plus 7. And this makes sense because if you distribute this one inside, the parentheses, 1 times 2x would be 2x, and then 1 times 7 would still be 7. Now, uh, here, um, we, we're going to make another, um, we've got two groups again. This is my first group, and this is my second group. And what can we factor out uh, from these two groups? Well, I see that they both had 2x plus 7 common in them, so I can factor out 2x plus 7. So if I factor out 2x plus 7 from the first group, I will be left with 2x. And then if I factor out the 2x plus 7 from the second group, so this is gone, then I'll be left with a positive 1. So my factors are going to be 2x plus 7 and 2x plus 1. And this makes sense because when we factor, we get the product of two binomials. Now there's one more thing that I, that I want to talk about here is um, some students may ask that, can we write 16x as 2x plus 14x? Yes, you can. Because see here, if I write that as 4x squared, and then instead of 14x plus 2x, if I write this as 2x plus 14x, right? Still, I did not change anything. This is just a different form of writing 16x, because positive 2x plus 14x would still give me 16x. Right? I can write it in this form, and still I would get the same answer. So again, I'll make two groups here. This is my first group, and this is my second group. Now, what can I factor out from the first group? The GCF would be 2x, right? Because 4x squared and 2x, the GCF would be 2x, and what would be left inside? Well, if um, 2x times what will give me 4x squared? 2x times 2x would give me 4x squared. 
then plus 2x times what will give me 2x? Well, 2x times 1 will give me 2x. Then here, from the second group, what can we factor out? I have a positive 14x and 7, so the GCF would be 7. And then what will be left inside? So 7 times what will give me 14x? 7 times 2x will give me 14x. Plus 7 times what will give me 7? 7. 7 times 1 would give me 7. Again, I can make my two groups and then factor um, out again. I made two groups, and what is common in these two groups? I see that 2x plus 1 is common in both of them, so I will factor that out. If I factor out 2x plus 1, what will be left in the first group? In the first group, I'll be left with 2x. If I factor out 2x plus 1 from the second group, I'll be left with positive 7. And you can see that still I've got the same factors. We just um, uh, switched between them, right? Because we have got 2x plus 1 and then 2x plus 7. But since this is the product, right, multiplication is commutative. So it really doesn't matter which factor you put first. So we get this same answer in case if you, um, if you write them differently. So this is how you factor a quadratic equation when the leading coefficient is greater than 1. I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.